Hello everybody, I'm going to be doing another toy review today. Uh, not quite a year back, I opened two of the Spin Master Batman miniatures, and that video has turned out to be extremely popular compared to a lot of my other stuff. That one actually has jumped up to a little more than uh, 1,200 views as of this point, slightly under a year later. Because of the popularity, I figured I'd come back and do another one. Um, plus, these have released with new characters now, so we're probably not even going to see any repeats. Last time I got a green sort of swamp-colored Batman and the Scarecrow. So we'll see what we get this time. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that at least one of them is a Robin to go with the miniature Batman, and that at least one of them is King Shark, whom I believe is in this wave. That being said, I'm not too concerned over what I get. One of my big complaints last time was the price. I believe it was about $5, and it has gone down a dollar. These, I'm wanting to say, were only 4 So I think that's a much better price for what you're getting for a pretty decent quality plastic miniature. Anyway, there's nothing really exciting to talk about. The canisters are pretty much identical. There's, as far as I can tell, no change to any of that. It's honestly not exciting. Um, most of the imagery and stuff seems to be on the box they use to put them on the store shelves. So the canisters themselves, not really exciting. I'll do one quick turn around so that you guys can see everything. The previous video had a much more in-depth look at the canisters themselves, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get started. All right, so our first canister. Oh my God, I was actually lucky. We have King Shark. Well, I'm, I'm good, guys. Uh, video's over. Uh, this is what I wanted. Okay, joking aside, I'm obviously not ending the video, but let's take a look. King Shark, which was the one I wanted, which I absolutely love. I hadn't paid much attention to the box, so it's even the Great White Shark version of him, which is my favorite. Um, I believe they've done a six-inch Hammerhead Shark version. I don't know if they've done a, this, so I was uh, thinking it would be a Hammerhead, but this is fantastic. And like the others, there's going to be a way you can place him on the lid, like so, for display. And he is a beauty. There are definitely several places where you can see the different pieces uh, are stuck together, different uh, molding lines and that kind of thing are visible. Although to be fair, at this size and at a $4 price tag, that's sort of to be expected for one as complex as King Shark. So we are just going to uh, accept that and move on. This is an A plus figure. All right, our second canister. I'll be damned, I got Robin this time. I am two for two on what I wanted. I had no way of knowing this beforehand. You saw they were sealed. I am just apparently really, really lucky. And even better, this is Tim Drake, which you can see the RR. He is Red Robin, wearing a suit that's uh, basically inspired by his rebirth look. Uh, his Red Robin suit in the New 52 was dramatically different. He took on a more traditional look for red robin and i am extremely happy with that i cannot complain at all uh he is sharp looking the paint on the face is a little bit dim there on the forehead almost like there's a chip that didn't apply the same but again at a four dollar uh, miniature you don't expect perfect printing and all in all this is extremely solid So that is another win in my book. This third character could be literally anyone because I have accidentally gotten both characters I stated I wanted at the beginning of the video. This is nice. There we go. All right, almost, almost popped that one open, uh, pulling the plastic off. All right, last and possibly least or possibly best, honestly, I have no idea because the last two made me so happy, we have... 
Oh my God, we have Killer Moth. This, I didn't even realize he was in this and I am so happy. Uh, the Killer Moth subreddit, uh, yes, there's a Killer Moth subreddit, is going to love seeing this. This is really cool. Uh, um, I'm just blown away. Sorry, I, my ums and ohs, oh, I sound like an idiot. I'm just, I'm just impressed. I didn't expect we'd get Killer Moth. I didn't expect anything of the sort, but he is looking awesome. The classic lime green helmet, the stripes on the orange tights, like they, they made just a true classic Killer Moth, but he still looks very tactical too. The, the shape of the eyes looks very like it's technical intentionally you can see just enough detail the ridging around the the chin and the sides looks like it's a tech helmet uh he's got straps going on for his backpack he just looks he looks very much like a modern take on killer moth should <clears throat> i realize a lot of people who aren't huge into batman have no idea who killer moth is and he's one of those lesser known villains that has a huge fan base just because of how stupid his concept should be and yet he just you know he makes it work he makes the ridiculous concept work so here are all three of these guys together now you could have them displayed on the canisters i'm not going to bother doing that right now just because it takes up so much extra space on the screen However, we are going to look in at the little pamphlet with the different characters that they list now. On one side, we have the heroes. We have, uh, I like the, the Batman. I'm, I don't remember if it's the same as the previous Batman's shape or not, or if they changed any of that, but it certainly looks good. I'll have to get the other one out. Pretty sure they've changed something to that, but I just can't guarantee it. We also have this, which is just called Batman as well, but it very much is the Hellbat armor, which he uses uh, in a fight against Darkseid. I'm wanting to say it's the first time he whipped it out. Uh, it's popped up a couple of times. Uh, Lois Lane, of all people, wound up wearing it in a Superman comic briefly because uh, comics. Uh, we've got Batman Beyond, who definitely looks fantastic with his wings out. I would love to see him. We've got... It's calling him Robin here, but it's very clearly uh, Mr. Tim Drake. Got a very classy The Joker wearing a black suit. Looks very similar to what he wore in, uh, I believe, Endgame was the name of that particular arc that Scott Snyder was writing. The only difference here, he's got the full head of hair. His head was sort of more shaved on the side, but it's very clearly a classic Joker look, sort of similar to the dark tux he had as the Red Hood before he fell in and, you know, didn't wear the Red Hood. And finally, we have a Batwoman who looks really awesome too. I really like how uh, most of the Batman characters are doing something interesting with the cape. His is out. Obviously, Tim's is flowing with the breeze. And Batwoman's looks pretty awesome too. I would definitely not mind seeing any of these. I do have the question why the Joker is included on the hero side, but that is neither here nor there. And on the other side, we have the Penguin looking dapper, uh, Killer Moth and King Shark that we have here. There is a Bane who looks amazing and, you know, Bane shaking everything. I definitely want to try and get a hold of him, if at all possible. And then we have a super rare Batman Beyond, and I'm not sure just from looking at it what the difference is between the two. I'm guessing it's a different material or something, but I just, maybe it's a lighter color. I don't know. I can't tell. And then the other super rare is Man Bat, who also looks absolutely horrifying, really cool. Any of these would be welcome. And here we have everything I have so far all together. And after looking at it, that Batman is definitely different than the one in the pamphlet. So they have changed the molding for the new wave. All in all, these are solid figures. I really do like the work done on the first two. Uh, there's a lot of subtle details, but I feel like the new ones are just a little bit more detailed. I feel like they must have done well enough that they probably had an increase to design budget or something of that sort. But all in all, these are great. These miniatures would be a lot of fun to use for 
uh, board games. I, I could see me wanting to make a King Shark for some sort of D&D &D if I have a friend willing to let me swap in King Shark instead of, say, an Orc or something. Yeah, long story short, these are a much better price now. Uh, again, I believe I was seeing these at $4 instead of at 5 which makes it a little bit more worth it. They're very highly detailed. There's a lot of desirable characters. Literally would have been happy with anyone in this wave looking at those pamphlets. So I absolutely recommend, if you think these are cool, go ahead and pick up one or pick up two. Just see what you get. I wasn't able to so glowingly recommend them last time just because of the price point, but I feel like it's worth it now. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like and do subscribe. I would love it if you check out some of the other content here on the channel. Uh, things have been kind of slow recently. A lot of things that I thought were going to be pretty popular have been very slow on takeoff, so I wouldn't mind if you check out some of my recent stuff. I did an entire Justice League week, talked about Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, talked about the animated Wonder Woman movie, Wonder Woman Bloodlines. I had some really bad Justice League ripoff games I found on the App Store, and I f uh, my favorite of the bunch, honestly, was talking about the Flash's fantastic Game Boy Advance game. Following that, I also did a stop motion based around Superman, the first DC Comics brick film that I've made, and I found some lousy Assassin's Creed ripoff games on my most recent video prior to this one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all stay safe out there. <laughs>